All right, let's take a look at this. So here is our trade setup right here. This is this is a momentum trade breaking through market profile. This is our small smaller time our smaller Rinko. This is our 13. 113 13. Remember, on this Rinko size, I only like to do momentum trades. I do not like to do FCR trades. I'm only looking for Momo trades. There's a Momo trade. There's a Momo trade. Here's a Momo trade. So these were all Momo trades. There's one. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, and this was more of an FCR because of the oscillator blow. Remember, the oscillator has to stay above 20. As long as it stays above 20, you get an arrow, the fires, you're good to go. Now, on the new algo update you're going to be getting, all these arrows will fire on the indicator and the strategy. They will fire for you. So let's take a look at this one, though. Why is this one? So all these Romomos are qualified. They all worked out well. Why is this one so important? Because right here is where the market profile was. Now, market profile is an institutional level. Okay, that's where the, a lot of big banks, a lot of hedge funds, they like to trade off those levels. So that level 57, if we go back to it, was right here a market profile. So if I bring this over here, I can see my breakout happened right at 57, 57 and a quarter to be exact. So if you get outside of high value area, high value areas are red. So here's high value, HVA. Here's low value area, LVA, the green. And then here's what's called the POC, which is the control point. If I get outside of HVA on any market, then I know that the market is now imbalanced, or it's not a balanced market. It's called imbalanced. If I'm imbalanced, I'm looking for Momo setups to drive me through to the upside, right? I said this morning before we broke out here that the target's 41.80. And we're driving to that because what happens is once you cut through high value area market profile, you have what's called buy stops above you. So all those traders that are short are now having to cover. And that's what drives, especially this candle right here. Look at this big candle. That's all buy stops taken out. So what do you want to look for? What we want to look for is we want to look for Momo setups. Momo setups are momentum setups at these key levels. So right there is at 57 and a quarter. So 57 and a quarter was here. 57 and a quarter was right there. So we cleared high value area already on this 12020 chart. We cleared it. So we know, based upon order flow, we know the big banks, like I was saying, Barclays Bank, their traders. All these big bank hedge funds, they use market profile, right? And the VWAP. So a lot of them use market profile because they, they don't like to use indicators. They like to use order flow. So we know the buy stops are above HVA. So what do we want to look for? We want to look for Momo, a Momo setup. A Momo setup, this oscillator cannot go below 20. I love it if it's holding above 80 the best. As soon as that arrow fires, that is a momentum setup. That's a momentum setup, and you are getting in before all the buy stops start hitting. Once the buy stops start hitting, everybody's starting to cover their position. They're getting stopped out. That's going to fuel the trade to the upside. This fill was the high of the bar, 64. It's already high as 74. That's 10 S&P points on our last trade on the last Momo setup because the buy stops are clicking on the imbalance market over here. See, it's imbalanced. Now, if I come back inside a profile, and if I'm around the POC, right, and I'm around the VWAP, I'm in a balanced market. But if I get outside a high value and low value area, I'm in an imbalanced market. Now, I have this on a five-minute chart for you on market profile. But what I like to do, you can put it on, this is a 130.30. So... 
this tells you where the sell stops and buy stops are. You can use this on Rinko bars also, the market profile. The, re the reason I like Rinko bars on it, I like break retest trades off of it. This is my po point of control yesterday. The, with the Fed, it broke out, it retested, and exploded. I mean, this sucker exploded. it off the 13030 88 and three quarters as high as 06 so if you break inside momo setups now on the smaller time frame like i said here we only want to take right there was the hva you want hva cuz you know the buy stops these are all buy stops up here look how the green all the way up on a small time frame so that's where they're definitely taking all the stops out because look, look at all the buys, look at all green all the way up. There's no chop at all. So you're already in the trade. And that was a nice trade. The high of this bar was 59. And the high is 73. So that's, that's 14 S&P points just like that with a very small stop because it's a smaller Rinko bar. But knowing this is it, it, a great way to look for Momo trades and FCRs. Now, what you can do then is this. You can take my profile at night and mark a 30-minute chart up and go back a week, and you can mark confluence levels on there. So you can look at the high value red, the POC blue, and the green LVA. I like the POCs the best. I mark these on the charts and send out to traders on the POC of 52 and 65, and they're two of the most explosive trades we had for the week. Two were FCRs and two were Momo trades off these key levels. So you can put these as confluence on your charts to watch launching points. What I'm saying is this, is if I go back and I have a stack level, so let's say I have a stack level of here. So this is an FCR trade, right? So we short this here. It's an FCR sell, but look, it's at a previous point of control. That's at my supply line, and it's at a full retracement in an FCR. These are beautiful FCR trades. So what you can do is you can find stack levels based upon previous market profile levels or my profile levels by looking at a 30-minute chart and going back. I wouldn't go back more than a week, but look at all the look at all, uh, you can put all the point of controls on your chart. They, these are institutional levels for a push, and then you got your intraday chart to work off of. We knew 58 was a breakout, so here is your breakout. The buy stops are just taking this to the upside, so these will be the best momo trades. So when you're doing these momentum trades and FCR trades, if you trade around institutional levels like market profile. It adds a push. It adds gas to the fire. And you see these big vertical moves that ensue. All right? But when you get back inside of HV and LVA, let's say this market uh, crashes down to, then we break and retest. We'll look for a sell zone, FZR or MOMO. Then we'll try to take it down to LVA. So it, when you get outside of HVA and blow LVA, the market becomes imbalanced. When you get back inside of it, and near the control point, then it becomes balanced again. And that's how they do it. That's how these institutional traders do it. So we try to look for Momo setups when the market becomes imbalanced. Those are the best ones. Okay? Now, like I said, next week, members only, what we'll do is, is we will have a conference call on the algo. So we're going to go over this new update you guys are going to be getting. Um, I'm going to start breaking down how to use the trailing stops, uh, how to do the, 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 these add-on trades, and so on. So next Wednesday at 4.30 is members only, um, because I'm going to start breaking the inside of the algo down, this automated strategy, 
for you guys because you guys are getting not only the update to the indicator. So this update will come with this. It'll come with the indicator. The indicator is going to fire all these arrows. So all these arrows you see, the updated indicator will come with it. And then the strategy will can play off of that time frame or off that Renko bar. Or if you want to use minute charts, what have you with it, you can do that too. But um, you'll have an indicator and you'll have a strategy on the update. We are doing an extensive back test, one of our members. We're doing a 50-year back test on this. We'll have the results for you with that also on the release of the algo. All right, so uh, next Wednesday at, um, for members only, at 4.30, we want to really start digging in and start going over this algo before the release here and make sure you guys understand how to use it.